Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 3. This is the A315-23 series computer. I'll show you how to get inside, access your Wi-Fi card in case you need to replace it. I'll also shout out the Wi-Fi specs if you're looking for your own replacement part. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. We're gonna take off all the screws on our bottom case. You have these three along this edge, these three along the opposite edge, these two here, these two here, and that one screw there. We're gonna take all those screws out. As a side point, guys, this right here is your battery reset pinhole. What you would do is you would press that with a paper clip or other sharp, small object. It would reset your battery. You'd let it sit for 30 seconds off, uh, and that can help if you're having trouble starting your computer or charging your battery. After the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the seam and pry up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. If you guys are watching me get in here, you'll notice this is actually very difficult for me to take off. I was concerned for a little while there that there was more screws, but there's not. I had to get my uh, larger pry tool out and I've really got to get it under there and then really crank it sideways to get this bottom case off. It does come off. You don't need to take out more screws, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Once you have your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. So I'll show you how to do that now. Your battery is right here. So this battery is really easy to operate. As you can see, there's no additional screws in here. It's just plugged into the motherboard. So I'm gonna peel back this tape that's holding it to some inside components there. Just peel that back. There's some more black tape here that's over the actual battery plug, be careful, but I'm gonna peel that back. Or actually, I'll just remove it. I'll just make sure to remember to put it back on after. And this battery plug is kinda of nice because I don't have to pull on the wires. It's got a grip on either side. So I can use my pry tool or your fingernails and push on this side, push on this side, and that battery plug comes right out. So that's fairly easy to get that battery out. Now, when you have a computer project, it's best to keep the area safe as you notice, my computer is sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have a lot of the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, they'll all be included in that link. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your Wi-Fi card is right there, held down by a single screw on this side. So you're gonna undo that screw. That will release your Wi-Fi card. That screw was in there really good. Be aware, try not to strip it. Uh, after you do that, your Wi-Fi card is released so it can pull out of that port. However, you have your antenna wire here and those are just snaps, guys, so those just snap right off of the Wi-Fi card like that. If you're looking for the Wi-Fi specs and info, I'll have that below in the description, and I'll have a replacement Wi-Fi card option in that link that I told you about earlier as well. One last thing to remember here, guys, if you are having Wi-Fi issues, if your computer cannot find any available networks, it could be that your Wi-Fi card is bad and needs to be replaced, but it also could be something else. There are driver issues, software issues, update issues. There are other things that may be interfering. So just in case that's your issue, I'll put a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a tutorial video showing you how to troubleshoot and fix a computer that can't find any Wi-Fi networks. If those steps don't work, then you may wanna try replacing your Wi-Fi card. To put the Wi-Fi card back in, you simply slide it into its port. Then I'll screw it down to secure it. To snap those back on, they have to be at a perfect 90 degree angle. If you're not used to it, it, it could take a little time, uh, but I'm just gonna try to get it on top of it as well I can and snap it back down. Uh, if you don't have it at the right angle and you push too hard, you can damage it. J just be aware of that. So just really just g go slow, be easy, and snap those back down. If you have any questions on this video, check out the FAQs in the description first. 
It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer tutorials. Thank you so much for watching guys. Look forward to seeing you on my next video.